Hi and welcome to this Fusion 360 tutorial. Today we're going to cover the rib and the web feature in Fusion 360. So as you can see on the screen, I've created four activities or challenges that will either introduce or develop your existing knowledge and skill associated with these features. So any of the parts, any of the completed parts or models and any documentation in order to create these designs can be found in the description below. So if we jump onto Fusion, so what we've got on here is the first model, for the first challenge. So if we go just back in time, this was created using a simple rectangle and extrude. It was then filleted off. And then what we've got here has been shelled out. Let's create that hollow. And then we've added some extra features to create a boss. So if you were creating a design that would have injection molded features, this is a way of creating those particular features. So we've got this boss in a moment. And what we need is so basically little ribs that come off the side of this to, to hold down and strengthen it. So we're going to go up into a sketch. And I'm going to create a sketch on this work plane here. And what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to go to sexual analysis. And I'm going to create a section on there as well, just to make life a little bit easier so I can draw in on the inside of that. So I need to draw a line down here. So if I click L for line, but the problem is it doesn't want to particularly snap to this edge here. So what we're going to do is if I just turn this at sight angle, we create press P for project. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to project it's going for the old body, it doesn't like that. So I'm going to go fill project. So I'm going to click on that edge there and click OK. And then what we've got is a line going down there now. So L for line. And actually, I'm going to draw a line between those two edges like so. I can press L again. I can come down to here. Of course, I could use the dimension tool to dimension this. So a certain height and a certain width. And then I can click the tick to save that sketch. So what I'm going to do now is go up to rib and select this rib. And what we're going to do is go one direction. I'm going to go up to next. And the thickness is going to be three millimeters. Now what that's done, if we take sexual analysis off and I will look at this. And spin that around. You can see from that sketch, okay, one direction, it's got three millimeters that side. If I go flip, so not flip, if I go minus, sorry, three millimeters, it will go on the other side of the sketch. But what we really want is symmetric. So it's one and a half millimeters either side. Now I did click on, and if you look at this, I did click flip but what that's going to do is going to flip the direction of creating that on the other side and that's what we, we don't want that we want it to actually okay form the shape underneath the sketch not above that particular sketch so we remember so we're going halfway so that's one and a half millimeters symmetric click OK now we could draw that again over here but we can go up into create pattern circular pattern so what's the feature so the feature is that rib there what's the axis i could choose that diameter there or if i spin this around i could grab that green axis and it suggests then do you want three or you could do four okay usually we'd have three or four depending on the design you probably wouldn't go a bit too crazy and have something like that okay but of course if you wanted something like that you could but we're going to go for a simple three and very quickly we've created a little rib just there 
to support that boss if it was an injector molded part and I don't know a bolt or a screw or something was going to go through there and that would uh, support that. So next activity what we're going to do is we're going to create a rib this time which will add strength or rigidity between these two bosses. So this design has just been created using three simple extrudes from one sketch. So we just turn on the sketch so you can see what we've got. And then we've simply extruded that sort of boss up there, then the one on the other side, and then join those two together. So what we're going to do now is create a sketch on the plane that runs down the middle of this. I'm going to use the P for project. I'm going to project probably using the body. So we're going to project this entire body. And what that will do is it will trace around the outside shape. So we've got two edges to use now. And if I then draw a straight line from here to there, and click on tick, you can then go up to rib. We can select this. It will automatically, depending on if you have the direction flip correctly, okay, go from that line and fill all this area here, all the way down. And what we've got is symmetric. So if we come to above, okay, as we increase this dimension here, increases here, and it's doing it symmetric. So it means it's three millimeters either side when it's six in total. What's quite clever about this is if I was going to do an extrude, it may end sort of here. And as I uh, increase this thickness, there would be a gap probably each end. Because this is a quite a clever feature, it would automatically merge up into these two points. Even if I go a bit crazy and start making it, you know, really wide like that. Okay, so that is a way of adding, so we don't want to go too crazy, that's a way of adding a bit of strength to a design, like so. So it all depends on how wide you would want that to be, and click OK. Now if you found that you wanted to go back and edit the sketch, you can always right click it, go in there, and you might think, well actually I want that point to go to the top of there, and I want that point to go to the top, okay? Like so, but you just need to be careful sometimes because look, if you go too far, it will then, okay, extend that sketch, okay, through these other features. So you have got to be careful, okay, with the sketch and, you know, dimension it appropriately. So we could dimension that to be one millimeter gap there, okay, and bring that down. And again, we're going to maybe do one million uh, gap between those two. So using D for dimension, clicking the two points. Okay, and you can see it's not gone through now. So you do need to be careful sometimes with your points because it may want to go over and go for another feature. So there we go. So that's how we've strengthened those two bosses in that feature. Thanks for watching and if you found this content helpful please click like and subscribe and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.